What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a Meowskarada team. This team was created by BB over in the Pokesports Discord, thank you for making this team. And this team has a lot of really cool stuff on it. First of all, Choice Band, Protean, Meowskarada. Choice Band and Protean work well together because you can only Protean once on each swap in, but you're only going to be able to pick one move anyway, so it's pretty cool. It's also Terra Grass if you want a little more power on your flower tray. It has a lot of coverage moves in Knock Off, Triple Axle, and Play Rough. What it's missing is U-Turn and Sucker Punch, but it gets so many moves it's hard to fit everything you want onto one set. Also on this team we have a Decorate Alchemy, which gives its partner plus two attack and special attack, which pairs super well with Metagross, Primarina, or High Dragon. And we have an itemless Talonflame so that it can have a full powered acrobatics right away without hurting itself if it uses like Brave Bird. The Primarina is also an interesting set. Psychic Noise, since it's a sound move, does become a water move, but this is different than the normal set you would see. Usually you would see Hyper Voice paired with that and Moon Blast, but this has a little bit more support options to it, because Psychic Noise can block moves like Drain Punch or Side Pollen Puff or Life Dew, a lot of things. But anyways, I'm ready to play this team. Let's do it. We've got Mouse Ape here. They've got Mouse Hole, Denial Ape, Primarina, King Gambit, Glamora, and Tyranitar. Oh, that's interesting. Glamora plus Tyranitar, giving Glamora the special defense boost in the sand? That's pretty scary. My answer to Mouse Ape has to be Meowskarada. It's faster than the mouse and can presumably knock it out before it can get a beat up off. If I'm gonna do that, I'm not gonna want to make myself weak. Uh, I guess I guess uh, the grass move is fine against all of them. A lead that could mess up that idea would be like Primarina. No, I could hit that. Tyranitar with like a Terra could be annoying. And then I'm gonna want to hit the Annihilate as well. That could be with like Metagross. Metagross hits that whole team really hard. I could bring Alchemy, but I don't know about in the front. Especially with Follow Me support, like, Decorate just wouldn't work. So I'm gonna lead Metagross. I actually like Primarina here, and maybe it is Alchemy last. I can get a late game Decorate off. I don't love High Dragon. Just a special attacker versus Tyranitar versus their Primarina as a fairy type versus Glamora potentially in sand. Oh, that's a cool card. They got the dark background. I like it. Mouse Hold Annihilate. Exactly what we expected. Okay. This Meowth Garada looks tiny. Wow. Okay, I don't want to go for heavy... Do I want to go for Psychic Fangs? In case they don't terrestrialize their ape, Psychic Fangs would be the play. I want a Flower Trick into the mouse. That gets rid of my dark, my dark typing, so it gets rid of my weakness to Drain Punch. And I will just click Psychic Fangs. I do think they would... Uh, they could bulk up in Terra. Unless they're Terra Water. If they're Terra Fire, they should go for it. Okay, they just protect with the Annihilate. That's fine. Flower Trick with a Choice Band should be able to take out the mouse unless they're Sash. But if they're Sash, they probably would have gone for Beat Up. Yeah, we just take them out. Beautiful. And now we'll show you the Psychic Fangs. How much is Heavy Slam into that? Pull that up now. Heavy Slam is max power into Annihilate. Okay, good to know. But typically their Terras are something that resists steel. Water, fire, steel. The fact that they protected might mean they're Terra Water, honestly. They could have had like Thunder Wave or something on the mouse. Alright, here's a King Gambit. That's a little bit threatening. A little bit very threatening, actually. 
could throw a flower trick into it. Terra Metagross defensively. Hit it with like a stomping tantrum. That combo should do a lot of damage. And ignoring the Annihilate is kind of what I want to do right now. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. If they... If they, they should be able to take the double up. Maybe. Probably. If they do that and then they double into Meowth Skirata, or maybe if they throw a Sucker Punch plus like a Drain Punch into Meowth Skirata and take it out, then I would have to start worrying about Bulk Up Annihilate. That Flower Trick does not do much damage. I expected more. Yeah, there's a Drain Punch into Meowth Skirata. Could be a double up into Meowth Skirata. We get our Stomping Tantrum, that shouldn't fail. That thing's really bulky. I'm setting up a swords dance. Okay. Gonna get out of here with Meowskarada. Probably Primarina seems safe. Alchemy could work too. Since they're swords dance king gambit, they usually don't have a steel move. So either one of these would be this. I'm gonna go with Alchemy. Since if I do end up taking a ton of damage, at least I'm not sacrificing a damage dealer. And I'll go for another stomping. They're not terrestrializing the Annihilate. Which is interesting. They That must mean they're water. They have to be Terra Water on that. They targeted down Primarina there. Not Primarina. Meow's Garada there. They're refusing to terrestrialize. They protected turn one. I'm saying that means they're Terra Water Annihilate. So saving Meow Skirata is important. Sucker Punch, love it. Love to see that. And then Drain Punch into Metagross, that does nothing, who cares. And you don't heal because I haven't hit you yet. And Stomping does take out the King Gambit, beautiful. Okay, we're looking good. If we can just save Annihilate for last, take out this last thing, I'll be very happy. What is this last thing anyway? Glamora. Okay. Let me see speeds. One point faster than Metagross. Okay, I see no reason not to go for a Decorate. We may not get it if they double into Alchemy, or maybe Sludge Bomb can take us out. With these stats? I doubt Sludge Bomb takes us out, though. So I will Decorate the Metagross. I don't love setting up Toxic Spikes. But I am going to Heavy Slam into the Glamora. Okay, Drain Punch my Metagross. Could be doubling the Metagross even. Sludge Bomb, not enough. Beautiful. Heavy Slam takes out? No, they're Sash. Okay. They're Sash, that means they're gonna spiky shield on this Bullet Punch to try to take out my Metagross. And Drain Punch could take out my Metagross from here. Don't have Protect on Metagross. So I'm gonna go for a Luring Voice on the Annihilate. I could even go for Bullet Punch and Alluring Voice on Annihilate. Uh, I could get Metagross out for Bullet Punch later, but I'd be poisoned and so they could Protect Stall me down. Yeah, I'm gonna double into Annihilate. Spiky Shield is just too obvious. I can't just let them get away with it. Ooh, big damage from plus two Bullet Punch. Love it. You'll heal a little bit back with Drain Punch, but then I get to hit you with a super effective Stab Fairy move. That should do a lot. I don't know about KO. Thank you, Metagross. You did great. Have a rest. How much are we doing with this voice? Oh, all but one. And they're buried. Oh, okay. So 
the speed on Primarina, 81. We would get outsped. So we gotta go into Miascarada. Miascarada can pre pretty freely take out the Glamora here, I think would be the play. Do we have U-Turn? U-Turn would be ideal. No. Man, no Sucker Punch, no U-Turn? Come on, PB. But I'll send another Alluring Voice at Annihilate and just... I mean, I guess Flower Trick is the move to lock into. They do go for a double spiky shield. I think that's a fair play, honestly. You get the spiky shield off. This doesn't make contact, but then you take out Meow Scarado with a Rage Fist. Maybe. Though I think you would Terra Annihilate if, you were, if that's the play you were going for. Are you going after Alter Me? Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Doesn't KO, though. I didn't think so. We only hit you twice. That's 150 power, and you have no attack boosts. Alchemy can make that. Alright, GG. Yasterada. Metagross. Alchemy. Doing good. Doing some work. Alright, we are fighting a very scary team. They've got the Whimsicott Typhlosion combo. They've got Glamora. They've got their own Meowskarada, a female Indeedee for some reason, maybe Imprison shenanigans, and also a Quackleval. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm too worried about Quackleval. What I am worried about is Typhlosion erupting. I have my own priority Tailwind, but Acrobatics could get blocked by an Indeedee. High Dragon seems nice into Typhlosion, but it's bad into Whimsicott because they could just click Moonblast. Metagross is Terra Water. Okay, that's a good start. Against everything but Meow Scarada, Terra Water Metagross is actually pretty good. I could put that next to... I mean, Primarina is basically the same way, everything except Meow Scarada. can at least take a hit from Typhlosion. I could set my own Tailwind, but Metagross is going to be slower than their whole team anyway if they put up Tailwind. And our defensive typing on Alchemy is Steel. I think Metagross High Dragon is a fine lead. I want Primarina and Meowskarata as well. So I think I'm going to go those four. I'm not going to bring Talonflame for Tailwind, and I'm not going to bring Alchemy for Decorate. I'm just going to bring the stat sticks and hope that it works. That's a cool card, actually. They did good with the effects. Whimsicott Glamora, actually. This I don't mind too much. Actually, maybe I could put Steel Terra on High Dragon, even, and just take them both out. Uh, am I worried about Toxic Spikes? Yes, I am. But, I can Heavy Slam the Whimsicott, Steel Terra, Flash Cannon, and Glamora. Then I don't take much damage from either. I don't know if Steel Terra, Flash Cannon actually KOs Glamora. Those things can get pretty tanky. But I'm Terrastalizing to protect myself from a possible Moonblast. And anything Glamora can do... Glamora doesn't really run moves that can hit a steel fire. They have, like, probably Earth Power for the Metagross. Oh, they Moonblast into Metagross. And Earth Power. It. Well, we're gonna take that. We're Assault Fest. Yeah, that's no problem. I guess they were doubling up into that in case of a Terra of some kind. Oh, and we do take out Glamora. Nice, High Dragon. Okay. And then if this thing isn't Sash, if they're, if they're a cloak on Whimsicott, which they should be on this style of team, yeah, they're gone. Let's go. Critical hit, not necessary. That was max power. Yeah, typically when you see Whimsicott plus a Suian Typhlosion, the Whimsicott will be Covert Cloak so that it can set up Sun or Tailwind and terrestrialize the Typhlosion instead of having to go Terra Ghost. Alright, here's Meowskarada. I'm cool with seeing that. Metagross is weak to it, though. I gotta be careful. 
And here's Typhlosion. Okay, well. I have my Primarina for that. I'm gonna have to take it out with Psychic Noise, but how am I going to get rid of their Meowscarada? They didn't set up Tailwind, so we should have speed on them with Meowscarada, but not this High Dragon. I think I need to Bullet Punch Meowscarada in case there's a Sash there. We are max speed. I think I actually need to bullet punch Meowscarada, and I'll Dark Pulse into Typhlosion. I think it's better if both of my Mons go down here, though. If they are Scarf on Typhlosion, we're in a lot of trouble, actually. There's our bullet punch. Show me Meowscarada next. Oh no, it's Scarf Typhlosion. I should get the double KO. And we lose. Our Meowscarada does not have Sucker Punch. So there's nothing we can do. Uh, unless they are choiced on Meowscarada as well and lock into a bad move. They're choosing Flower Trick. And they are Protean, so there's a good chance they're choiced. But they picked the right move. We've got no shot. Now they can just Flower Trick into Primarina. And Meowscarada, which does not have Sucker Punch, cannot stop the Typhlosion from erupting it. I guess there's a chance that their Meowscarada's just slow, and that's not Scarf Typhlosion, but we, we lost this one. I guess the play was keep High Dragons, preserve Terra, they didn't actually go after High Dragon at all. But I'll Psychic Noise into the Typhlosion just in case I somehow get that off. And they turned into a Grass type. So Knock Off could hit everyone pretty hard. I'll give it a shot. Nope, they just go for the Eruption. That's gonna take out Meowscarada, and then the Flower Trick's gonna take out Free Marina, and that's gonna be the game. Alright, well, you played well. Preserving Typhlosion in the back like that, having Scarf Typhlosion, Terrifier. I knew that thing was going to be the threat, and I just didn't respect it after the after them not leading it. I didn't expect it to be a threat in the back. That's my bad. Oh no, you crit! Okay. Bye, Primarina. I'm sorry. I'll do better. <laughs> but you got a good trainer card, and you played well. Respect. Here we are versus a Dondozo team. Dondozo, Tatsugiri, Indeedee Male, Sneasler, that's a good combo. Our Chaladon with seemingly no rain, and a Volcarona. The answer I have into Dondozo is Haze. Oh good, it has Haze. Okay, so we have Haze. We're good into Dondozo, we just need to bring Primarina in the back. And Meowscarada is good too. I mean, Dondozo doesn't outspeed it. We can Flower Trick if they don't Terra, or if we bait them into Burning Terra early. Their lead could be Indeedee Sneasler. And our High Dragon, of course, is Terra Steel, so it'll stay weak to fighting. But Metagross is good into that lead. If we preserve Terra for Metagross, it's good into a lot of things they could lead. I need something for the Archaladon. I think that actually might be Decorate plus High Dragon. Uh, that would be a little bad into Sneasler, though. I could Decorate plus Metagross. That could help me get through Archaladon. Bring, bring Primarina and Meowscarada in back? I think that's fine. I think those are the pieces that I need, at least. Sneasler would have then have to choose. Does it just go for, straight for like a Dire Claw? Does it let me get a Psychic Fangs off onto it? Does it burn Terra? If, you, if I force it to burn Terra, that would be amazing. Oh, they got the pink uh, pig. It's cute. I don't know why they didn't make Oink alone better. Okay, it is Ndidi and Sneasler. That's about what I expected. 
In that case, I expect it to be Dondozo Tatsugiri in the back. Psychic Surge. Psychic Seed. No surprises there. Where do I want to burn Terra in this game? I could steal Terra my Alchemy here. Basically get a free Decorate. They could, like... Dark Terra Throat Chop Metagross? But I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Steal Terra Decorate. And then I would want to not click Psychic Fangs. Dark Terra is pretty common on Sneasler. Plus two Heavy Slam I think would do it though. And if I get rid of that, then the Steel Terra doesn't hurt me. They are going to Terrastalize. It's probably the Sneasler. Show me Dark. It is Dark. Okay. I don't think a Throat Chop plus an Expanding Force is going to KO Metagross. So I think we're alright. This could just be a Dire Claw into Alchemy anyway. Like, they could be thinking, I Dark Terra, then Metagross wastes a move onto me. I take out Alchemy. But I'm not going to let you take out Alchemy unless you call this. Flash out. Okay, that's a cool dark move. It's a little weaker than Throat Chop, though, so I should take it pretty well. Yeah, a little over half. And just expanding force. That's not going to do much. Yeah, basically nothing to Metagross. A little bit to Alchemy, though. I mean, it is a strong move. Yeah, plus two Heavy Slam should Oko. Your Psychic Seed, not Sash. Goodbye. Terra has been baited out. Meowskarada is now in a great position to KO their Dondozo. Metagross is not exactly safe now. Whatever they send in could just hit it. Oh, it's Volcarona. They don't have Dondozo Tatsugiri. Um... That's awkward. <laughs> Could be a heat wave coming through. I'm going to throw an alluring voice at their Ndidi just for some damage. And I'll try to Psychic Fang their Volcarona. They could miss a heat wave if they go for heat wave. Or they could get greedy and try to set up thinking they're scaring me. They just go for Heat Wave. It double connects. It does enough damage to Alchemy, too. I think we're going down to Expanding Force. Shadow Ball. Uh, that probably still does it. Now we know they're not choiced. Okay. So, I brought the wrong Mons. But we should be okay. Primarina Meowskarada, come on in. We can get rid of our weakness to fire. Their last is going to be our Chaladon without Terra, so the move to lock into is Knock Off. I guess I could also lock Play Rough, that's not going to hit Volcarona. I think I'm down for Psychic Noise into Indeedy. No, maybe I should go the other way. I could Psychic Noise into Volcarona and knock off Indeedy. Would Indeedy be sashed? It totally could be. But I want to click knock off. I want to keep my dark typing. Okay, no protect from anything, so I could have just hit the Volcarona to say. Oh, and it was Sash. Alright. But it looks like they might let me hit Volcarona. Oh, they go for Giga Drain. Maybe they're doubling into Primarina here. Oh, they are. The fact that that didn't trigger my Citrus Berry means I might go down to this expanding force. We don't! Let's go. That's awesome. Can you Oko this Volcarona? Probably not. Psychic Noise isn't a very strong move. But it does a lot. And Giga Drain did a little under half. They might not be confident in Giga Drain knocking out Free Marina. I'm gonna go for Psychic Noise and I'm gonna go for Knock Off into Indeedee again. 
Okay, let me get both hits off. The Giga oh, it diggles the healer? That's not gonna KO anything. Beautiful. And we take out Volcarona, and now we got two moms left against your last. I'd be cool with seeing like Dondozo or Tatsugiri instead of the Archaladon. But I think Archaladon's okay. Is it? It's not gonna have Electro Shot online, unless it's Power Herb. Should I protect Primarina just in case it is Power Herb? Because I can't see them attacking Meowskarada first. Could they be sturdy power herb? They definitely could. I kinda need to make this call though. I think I will protect Primarina and go for the knockoff. Oh, if they were power herb though, they wouldn't go for Electro Shot because of the knockoff. Big damage. They were Power Herb. They go for Electro Shot anyway? That's actually fine. I think we win. Because either they go for Primarina and we get two knockoffs, or they go for Meowskarada, we get a knockoff and a Dazzling Gleam. Wow. Huh. All right. Thank you for throwing. And Knockoff just takes it with a crit. Thank you, Meowskarada. Let's go. Okay, I was all ready for Don Dozo, but we still ended up having the right pieces. I guess I shouldn't have protected Primarina there, but it, it ended up working out. GG. We've got a Typhlosion matchup. Whimsicott, Typhlosion, their own Meowskarada. Indeedy Male, Dragonite, little anti-synergy there. And Blood Moon, Ursaluna, presumably a fast one. This is a very fast, very aggressive team. I feel like I need Talonflame. And something that can take a hit from Typhlosion. Primarina should be able to take a hit from Typhlosion. We've got a very bulky set. Metagross with Terra could. But that gives me some problems into Meowskarada. Meows, but Dragonite and... Indeedy would struggle to hit Metagross if I just bring it as a Steel type. High Dragon's okay, especially because I can get Tailwind Control. They can't just lock in Moonblast turn one. Yeah, so High Dragon's fine. I do like Metagross, and I do like Primarina. I don't think this is actually a game for Meowskarada. There's not much it can really do. I also would love to bring Alchemy. But it just gets toasted by all of their attackers, except Dragonite. But I don't think they're gonna lock into Outrage. I have a Steel and a Fairy in the back. And I can turn my High Dragon into a Steel type, but they don't know that. Decent card. I'm glad that guy's banned. I really like Regulation H. I don't know if everyone else does. Oh, okay, they're going for Whimsicott and Ursaluna Blood Moon as their lead. I just got Talonflame High Dragon. Are we a jolly Talonflame? We are. I want to click Acrobatics then. Get rid of the Whimsicott. Do I want to steal Terra? No. That Flosion could mess me up. And... I think, I, I think it would be a Hyper Voice, so I think I can handle that. Acrobatics. Hopefully that takes it out. I expect them to be Covert Cloak. And I'm going to click Dark Pulse into their bear. They're going to Terrastalize right away. It's probably the bear. I, d I don't have a... Oh, it's Whimsicott! Into water. Okay, yeah, they're definitely Covert Cloak. They will now get their Tailwind, live, take out my Talonflame, and I'm in a hugely bad position. Great. That would have been enough to KO. Because now they break my Gale Wings, so I'm not going to be able to safely get Tailwind up. So 
that's actually really bad. Getting Metagross in in this position would be good, though. Uh, there's always a chance their bear isn't invested to outspeed Talonflame. So I can try to get my own Tailwind, but just protect High Dragon for now. I get Leftovers back, I stall a turn of their Tailwind. They're not going to be willing to try to Encore to read a Terra when I'm a Dark type. Put Encore Talonflame into Acrobatics. Okay, good. They go to Moonblast into Hydra. How fast is your bear? Their bear is fast enough to outspeed Talonflame. Got it. Okay. We're gonna play this without Talon. I think High Dragon is alright if I Terra. I really don't want to Terra though. could bring in Metagross, worry about Earth Power, or I could bring in Primarina, swap Metagross in for High Dragon. I think that's probably the better play. Primarina can hopefully, ta hopefully take any hit and get a Dazzling Gleam off. Just put High Dragon back to Metagross. They don't have Terra on their Ursa Luna, so they can't just throw like a Terra Normal Blood Moon at Primarina. High Dragon just protected, so they're gonna wanna hit that slot. And since they showed Moonblast last turn, they might need a Terra or a Swap and not commit only Moonblast Blood Moon. Because I think I think they're gonna support this with a Hyper Voice, which would take out High Dragon if I Terra. Oh, they Blood Moon into the High Dragon slot. I love that. Okay. That's huge. Your bear is gone. I don't know if this takes out Whimsicott. No. Cool. Tailwind is still up, which is actually good. I can take out Whimsicott and prevent them from getting another setting. Not that it would matter much. Okay, they find my Citrus and my Assault Vest. Fine. Last turn of Tailwind. They what? Sunny Day Eruption, right? Do I actually want to take out their Whimsicott is the question. I mean, I do. But I could click like Dazzling Gleam, Terra Water, Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, because that way if they lock into Eruption and their choice, I take out Whimsicott, so that removes their ability to switch. They can't set up another Tailwind, which might matter for whoever's in the back. Typhlosion should be faster than my whole team, though. High Dragon is at max speed. They've got Protect on Typhlosion. Okay. Well, they read out my Terra. At least I didn't commit hard into just doubling down there. But taking out Whimsicott might actually be a bad play now that I got no damage on Typhlosion. So they bring out Meowscarada now, and I'm not in a good position. I did not expect them to have Protect. Ooh, that's going to change this game. It's got to be Meowscarada, right? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, who who would you target as a Meowscarada? The Metagross. It's gotta be the Metagross, right? I wonder if Dazzling Gleam plus Bullet Punch is enough to take out Meowscarada? Probably isn't. But I think they're gonna Flower Trick into Metagross. And I'd rather get rid of their Meowscarada if I can. Okay, we do about a quarter. 
There's Flower Trick, they are Protean. Oh no! I got the selection wrong, they went into Pre-Marina. That probably cost me the game. Even if I take this Eruption, I should have Stomping Tantrums. I think I do take it. Yeah, ah, if I had Stomping Tantrums there, maybe we would have a shot. Maybe we still do. If they're locked into Flower Trick, they can take out Metagross. They don't know if they're faster. I know that they're faster, but they don't know how bulky I am. Would they Flower Trick and protect Typhlosion? They could Flower Trick, Hide Dragon, and Erupt again. I think I'm gonna click Dark Pulse into Meowth's Garada, and actually Bullet Punch the Typhlosion, just to slightly weaken Eruption. That's some damage, that'll weaken the Eruption slightly. They did Flower Trick into High Dragon. How well do we take that? Pretty well, I think we can live in Eruption. Especially now that we weakened it slightly. Oh no, we don't live! Oh, okay, Typhlosion is that good. Alright. That was a close one, GG. It came down to that Flower Trick targeting, and I got the call wrong. GG's. That's a strong combo. I should be using Meowth's Garada Typhlosion. <laughs> and you got a decent card. GG. And we are back. I think this team had the tools to take all four wins today, but against those Typhlosions, I don't think I played correctly. So that's on me. This, I, I promise you, this is actually a good team. Uh, a couple things I would like to see on this team is I'm a little more comfortable with the standard Prima Arena set of Hyper Voice. And the Meowskarada, I would like to have Sucker Punch. On this team, we, the only priority we have is Bullet Punch and Gale Wings from Talonflame. I just think Sucker Punch would fill in well. I never want to click Triple Axel or Play Rough anyway, though I'm sure there's some cases where you have to against like High Dragon. But anyways, super fun team. Give it a shot yourself. There's the rental code for you in the corner. And I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.